y'all, this is Rhonda K. Hope y'all are well. I want to share this story with you from Business Insider because, you know, yesterday with the phone outages and the internet outages, um, it was a lot of conflicting stories. First, nobody was reporting on it for hours, although the phones were down, some people say, since previously, like the day before, but notably like at four o'clock in the morning, people didn't have phone service or 911 service. So folks were like, um, it's solar flares later on in the day after the media started reporting on it. Oh yes, solar flares. So you're like, okay, so why is it just taking down phone services in major cities and not everybody? And how it, how does the solar flares know to just target 911? And why didn't the solar flares target everybody's internet and fry other stuff like your computers and things? And why was the service intermittent? So like nothing made common sense, if you have common sense. But you have a lot of people want to argue with you yesterday about, oh, they said it was a solar flare. Um, I need receipts if it's anything else. It's like, oh my God, the people have been telling you for two years about a cyber pandemic. All these people are retiring. All these th- all these um, tabletop exercises and computer exercises about what would happen if you know you had a cyber pandemic, if communications went down. Law enforcement, um, the rebels among them who are telling a little bit of information, are like literally leaking information about. Um, being told to prepare for stuff from the FBI or for or for um from sorry from Homeland Security or whoever. So people are just gonna be stupid until the very end. And like I just said yesterday, let's just call everybody the boogeyman because you don't know who's doing what. We don't know. Um, We know we live in a nation that has tools and people willing to do anything to keep people subjugated, dominated, and when necessary, to be exterminated. And so do other first world countries. So to say that, you know, X country is doing X thing, this person hacked this nation spot. It doesn't even really make any sense because at the end of the day, all we care about is our stuff don't work. Our stuff ain't on. We can't go get money. The stores are closed. Can't get gas. Can't get home. Whatever the situation is, that's all you care about. The things that make us the collateral damage, the things that directly impact us. Who did it? Nobody cares. Uh, You know, it's just not a big deal. But you know, for for the sake of having the argument, you need receipts. And, you know, every time something natural happens, as, you know, like the adversary can't use people to test their plans out so they can see if they'll work. It's ridiculous. So, you know, it was a lot of people on... on social media and on YouTube yesterday making videos about solar flares did stuff. And I'm like, okay, if y'all want to believe solar flares did this, okay. It this oh okay. So now today it says FBI and Homeland Security are looking into the AT&T cellular outage. The White House said this on yesterday. And this is from the Business Insider. So it says a sudden cellular outage left tens of thousands of AT&T customers without service on Thursday, and the feds are looking into it. While AT&T restored all of its networks by 3 p.m. Eastern, White House spokesperson John Kirby said the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are looking into the cellular outage. The bottom line is we don't have all the answers, Kirby reported, uh, told reporters on Thursday. AT&T later said the outage outage was caused by a software update. Now, okay, so AT&T's was caused by a software update, but how come all the other 
telecommunications companies went down at the same time. Everybody was updating the same time with the same stuff. Like, come on now. I was born one night, but I wasn't born last night. In a Thursday afternoon statement, the company confirmed the outage was not a cyber attack. Mm -hmm. So could it be a software patch because they learned that they had been attacked or they had been infiltrated, um, hacked, and, you know, a bug was in their system. So they tried to update it and it took people's, like, you, we don't know nothing. Like it's, but one thing you do know is you can't trust nobody. So, you know, I'm just, I'm reading this with, the, like, you know, and treating it like a grain of salt. But, it, you know, to my point is if it was a solar flare, then why does the FBI and Homeland Security need to, to investigate it? Just for AT&T, when all the other telecommunication companies, um, networks also went down for, for, you know, different times, but the same time range um, and in different areas and sometimes in the same areas. So... Um, mm, mm, the boogeyman's doing stuff. Based on our initial review, we believe that today's outages outage was caused by the application and execution of an incorrect process used as we were expanding our network, not a cyber attack, the statement said. We are continuing our assessment of today's outage to ensure we keep delivering the service that our customers deserve. AT&T also apologized to its customers, saying keeping its customers connected remains top priority. The update came after Executive Assistant Director of, at the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, Eric Goldstein, told Business Insider that the agency was aware of reports and closely and, and working closely with AT&T to understand the cause of the outage and its impacts. CISA operates the Department of Homeland Security. The Federal Communications Commission also said it's investigating. We are aware of the reported wireless outages and Public Safety and Homeland Security Bureau is actively investigating the agency share in a statement with BI. We are in touch with AT&T and Public Safety authorities, including FirstNet, as well as other providers. Also, the FBI also confirmed that they are looking into the outage and said that should we learn of any malicious activity, we will respond accordingly. That means nothing. Just look at how they did us the last three years with the cough, cough, and the lollipop. So... If you sit here and believe this, I got a bridge I'm selling you in China. Kirby said that U.S. officials have told have been told that AT&T had no reason to think the outage was a cybersecurity incident. Reuters reported, and so if that's the case, then it was a coordinated um, test. Cause maybe the booger man, the booger man is not who they say it is. The booger man may be right here in bed with you, cutting your lights off and phone off, but I'm just saying. In addition to inconveniencing customers, the issue threatened emergency services nationwide since people couldn't make phone calls or send text messages. Local officials and emergency departments pushed out alerts throughout the day, advising people to use Wi-Fi to take calls. Stupid, you gotta even tell people what to do. AT&T told BI that the network was taking steps to make sure that the issue doesn't happen again. The White House did not immediately respond to requests for comments. So it says February 22, 2024. The story has been updated to include AT&T's update about the outage. So nowhere did they say anything about the sun or solar flare. See? So all those people who were like, I need receipts. I need this. I need that. Look. We ain't Bobo the fool. These people have been playing with us for a long time. And they have been warning us what they were going to do. So this was a test. We can call it whatever you want to call it. You can say it's a software update, whatever. 
but it's a test to see how people will respond without communications, what things will look like. We, we don't know what they were testing on their end, what they were looking for. Um, but we can expect more tests. You can expect more outages, more inconveniences, and you should plan for those. Um, you should plan for not being told the truth because we live now in a um, post-truth world. And even people that you trust on social media, you know, they are willing to be deceived when the adversary has already told us his plans. He's told us the plans. He, he's let us know that he practices his plans. They do tabletop exercises in other things before they actually implement them. So it would be foolish for us to believe anything that they say. It's contrary to what they already told us they were going to do. So um, that's confusion to me when the actions and the um, the behavior don't align. Something ain't right. So they already told us what they were going to do. They did what they said they were going to do. Now, they told you a lie because they have to tell people lies to keep you asleep, the sleeping ones. So um, just be careful. Be aware that we could be experiencing more of these types of events. And people need to be ready for anything and everything, especially naive people who are willing to believe any lie that is put out by these folks, the children of the corn. All right, y'all, please like this video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload new content. Follow me on Rumble, Odyssey, Instagram, and on Facebook. The links are in the description. In the event that this channel is taken down or I'm booted or timed out, I will post other places. Rumble will be the primary place. So if you like this type of content, um, it you know would be good for you to, to um, uh, follow me on Rumble. Lastly, if you'd like to support the channel, links are in the description. I'm not monetized and I do not sell anything because I don't have time for that. And um, my channel is shadow banned, so I can't reach whatever qualifications I need to reach to be monetized. And at this point, I don't care because it's getting ready to take the internet down <laughs> anyway. So um, if you'd like to support the channel and support me um, for the work that I do, Links are in the description for coffee and Venmo. Lastly, keep prepping, keep praying, keep seeking the most high. Obey those laws, statutes, and commandments. Come out of this system because it's going to let a lot of people down and you're not going to want to be around them. So if you come out of her, come out of Babylon, come out of these systems, start thinking freely, stop believing people who are um, clearly not being led by the Holy Spirit, uh, the Ruach. Um, that's, I'm just amazed at how many people just believe anything. I, and I'm not, believe me, I'm not discounting the natural uh, occurrences that are happening. I'm just saying that the adversary working through people knows when things are going to happen in the earth, on the earth, and even out out of space because they've been hiding everything from us they know about time they know about the actual accurate time so they gave us a different time to follow so you think that they are not keeping up with actual time and what's happening on the earth and what's about they know what's about to come which is why they timed all this stuff for now so you know we got to be wise as serpents in this hour and we got to be careful of people who are willing to believe any and every narrative given to them by the adversary who is trying to literally take all of us out. All right. This is Marley Kay and I'm out.